There are 39 artifact sets in Genshin Impact, and that means that some are going to inevitably be less useful or balanced than others. Some are bad by nature of their effects, some are capped on stats based on rarity, and some just fall off as new sets become available. But you might be surprised at how useful some of these artifact sets can be, especially with the right characters and teams. After all, you know how it goes, the loudest complainy people are the ones that will exaggerate the most, and in the case of talking about 5% differences in damage making or breaking something, the Genshin community is king. But it can get boring to use the same artifacts forever. Some of us have even been farming the Inazuma artifact domain since 2.0 because those artifact sets are so dang solid. I know, I've been looking for an onset damage goblet too, and we'll make it through together. But in the meantime, there are a ton of other great sets you have to play around with in your teams. So today I wanted to talk about three of the most underrated artifact sets in Genshin and explain why they're actually such good sets. Now real quick, before before we get started, I go live on Twitch a few days a week at twitch.tv slash Braxaphone. So if you're interested in live challenges and other games, make sure to come check it out. And with all that being said, my name is Braxaphone, and let's talk about three underrated artifact sets. The first set that we're going to be talking about today is the Instructor set. Now, tons of people are sleeping on this set because it has four-star stat limits, but it's one of the four-piece sets in Genshin that can actually outweigh the need for super high stats with its four-piece effect. The two-piece effect gives 80 elemental mastery, but the four-piece effect makes it so that when you trigger an elemental reaction, your whole party gets 120 elemental mastery for eight seconds. In amplifying reaction teams like Melt and Vaporize, boosting elemental mastery can increase your damage output by a ton, and 120 is a lot of elemental mastery to get for such low investment. Obviously, you want all of your characters to deal a bit of damage, so leveling artifacts is a good idea. But even if you don't level the set, you're still going to be getting a lot of value. One of the best teams that uses the Instructor set is a Hu Tao setup with Amber and Elegy, where Amber will cause a Vaporize with their burst to give your Hu Tao a ton of elemental mastery, which will increase their damage by a pretty significant amount. But this isn't the only team where Instructors can get a lot of use. Anytime you have a team that's using Vaporize or Melt as its primary damage source, and there's two characters that can or would use No Bless, you can give one of them Instructors instead, and it could be a solid option. For example, Bennett can actually take advantage of this set well if somebody else on the team can use No Bless since you can switch to him to use his burst often, and it would give a lot of uptime to the four-piece effect. Now, one major downside to it is that the character triggering the reaction has to be on the field, which means that you can't just throw it on an off-field character and cross your fingers. To activate it on time, you have to react with the holding character before you switch off. But overall, if you play your cards right, the Instructor's set can be absolutely insane for low investment, and I highly recommend locking at least one set of these as you see them accumulate in your inventory. The second set that I'm going to talk to you guys about today is the Archaic Petra 4-piece set. With the 2-piece, you gain a 15% Geo damage bonus, but with the 4-piece, your team gains a 35% damage bonus for any element of Crystallized Shard you pick up. It's essentially a Kazuha level buff for picking up a little shard off the ground. Now, there's actually a few reasons people don't like this set. First off, the character that's using this set has to be the one on the field. You can't just pick up the shard on any character and call it a day. The common belief is that picking up a Crystallized Shard is a huge inconvenience like walking to a grocery store to grab that one dinner ingredient you forgot. But with the right characters, it gets significantly easier. For example, you have Yunjin, who does a little leap forward after casting her skill. If you choose to use 4-piece Petra on her, sometimes you wouldn't even need to take the extra time to pick up the shard. She would just automatically grab it by nature of her elemental skill. But even outside of Yunjin, most of the time, you can just sprint for a second or less and be at a shield shard. It's not an exact science, and for some teams, that extra second can make or break a rotation, but in most cases, this specific negative of Archaic Petra gets blown way out of proportion. The other reason players don't use Petra often is because of the newer Husk of Opulent Dream set that ends up being strong for a lot of Geo units. Any characters that are Geo with defense scaling get more value out of Husk than Petra, so most players are farming for that instead. But if you think about how Petra shares a domain with Retracing Bolide, an artifact set that does slightly less damage than Shimanawa but without the energy requirement, it's really not that bad of a domain to farm. With the exception of content that features big bosses that don't let you pick up the shards, the negatives of Archaic Petra are often exaggerated, and it's actually a decent set to run in the right setting.
The last set that I'm going to talk to you guys about today is one that made a lot of people angry on another one of my videos. So much in fact that people claimed it was harmful and dangerous and got me a nice message from the YouTube team. By the way, don't do that. YouTube just puts the video back up anyways if the report is wrong and you're wasting your time. Anyways, this set is the Exile set. The two piece is going to give you 20% energy recharge, but the four piece is going to give the rest of your team a total of six energy each over six seconds. The energy from the four piece is unaffected by energy recharge though, since it's directly into the character's energy banks and not actually particles. One of the reasons that Exile is overlooked is because like the instructor set, it has a four star stat cap, which means that it can only go up to plus 16. But also like the instructor set, Exile is meant to be used on characters whose main function isn't damage anyways. The other main reason that players don't care for Exile is because it only gives six energy. And honestly, six energy alone isn't a lot, but it's giving that energy to every character except for the user, meaning it's a free 18 energy just for casting a character's burst. Six energy to a character that has a 60 cost burst is 10% of their energy cost. How many times have you been fighting a boss or doing abyss and you're short just a tiny sliver of energy? Well, Exile helps to eliminate the small gaps in energy between bursts and adds a ton more comfort to teams that use it. Now, obviously, it gets less use in teams like Taser or anything with Raiden just because they already generate a lot of energy on their own. Sometimes you don't actually need the extra energy from Exile. But in a Geo team, with Goro, for example, Exile can be useful to getting bursts back across the board. I can't even begin to describe how many times I've had my energy be close to full and had Goro's Exile set save me from having to waste another Ushi. Anytime you have a team without a lot of energy generation and already have a Noblesse user, Exile can actually be a decent option and is definitely an underrated set. If you haven't already, I'd make sure to lock some of these artifacts too, since you'll inevitably get some by just playing through the game and progressing characters. Overall, Though these sets may not be the best in the game, they all serve a unique purpose and can get a ton of value, despite some being locked to 4 star stats. And the fact that you can get 2 of the 3 of these easily just makes them that much better. I would definitely recommend looking at your teams and seeing if any of these sets would be good for you. Do you use any of these artifact sets? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you've enjoyed, it would be amazing if you hit the subscribe button down below and like the video. Just another reminder, I do go live on Twitch a few days a week at twitch.tv slash Braxophone, and I highly recommend you check it out if you enjoy my content. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you next time.